Oh no, it's a bee. That's okay, guys. Bees are good. They're, they won't land on you. They won't sting you. They'll be okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> On Tuesday, the Obama administration revealed its plan, which was obtained by the Washington Post, to combat the trend of disappearing honeybees. Labeled as the national strategy to promote the health of honeybees and other pollinators, the plan is the brainchild of President Obama's Pollinator Health Task Force, which he created last summer. So what's this plan then? Well, the overarching theme is saving pollinators, such as birds, butterflies, bats, and of course, bees. The plan hopes to accomplish that through a combination of research and development, improving pollinator education, managing the replanting of burned forests, updating federal building standards to support pollinators, and creating a seed bank of specific plants for pollinators. It sounds like a lot, but according to the Natural Resources Defense Council, nearly one-third of all honeybee colonies in the country have disappeared in a pattern called colony collapse disorder, the product of several possible factors ranging from pathogens to certain pesticides. Tuesday's Pollinator Health Task Force plan hopes to reduce overwinter honeybee colony losses to just 15% within 10 years. It's also going to try to increase the eastern population of the monarch butterfly to 225 million by 2020, from about 50 million last year. Still, speaking to the Washington Post, a biology professor from Simon Fraser University says there'll be little change for pollinators if agricultural producers don't change how they use pesticides. Honeybee pollination by itself is believed to contribute more than $15 billion to the U.S. crop economy annually. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.